So the new entrance is finally open. Uh, a couple weeks after Hurricane Sandy. There was major flood around here, but the new bridge survived, thankfully. And I'm gonna try some uh, canoeing. So let's see how loading goes. Loading the boat into the water. Here's a good test. Shallow in the water. And it is coming up as one foot and almost nothing. <laughs> I like the way the uh, this line at the bottom shows uh, the depth. So you can pivot this like so. Okay, now it's showing that slope right there. I've only seen fish sporadically, one here, one there, no schools yet got as deep as 12 feet in this lake. Well, here's proof. I did use the side scan and found like two or three blips on it. And I caught a, uh, a white perch. There it is. It is proof that the hummingbird does bring me to where the fish are. Let me try it again, but uh, let me let this fish go first. Another thing to note about this hummingbird, this one uses a giant clamp. A little spacer right there, a makeshift spacer. Uh, next time I'll put a piece of block of wood right there. But keep in mind, you might have to add something there for the, the uh, transducer to stay up straight. Also, the transducer, this is uh, going straight into the water, so whenever you're paddling, it's going to affect your, your movement. But one thing I'm glad about, I was worried about the weight of the hummingbird, that it would tip it, tip the canoe to the right. And it's not doing that. It's The boat is pretty much stable, level. Okay, I'm picking up a bunch of fish straight ahead, so I'm going to cast over there. I got something. Sorry, dude. Nice color. 